the tie-breaking vote. Being elected to a public office is truly a God-ordained position, but there is a higher office which you must obtain. Here is how. How to qualify. You must accept this fact. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. How to view yourself. You are a sinner, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Your opponent. Sin hinders your face. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. The cost to win the race. The cost is much higher than your personal efforts or campaign funds could ever cover. Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but we are all as of an unclean thing, and all of our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. A legal campaign contribution has been made. Even though you are unable to pay the price to win this race, someone has paid it for you. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. The only way to pay the debt, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. The tie-breaking vote. Satan has voted against you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Jesus Christ has voted for you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You cast the tie-breaking vote. If you have never trusted the eternity of your souls to Jesus Christ, you haven't really believed on him. Your vote is now with Satan, and you stand condemned. If you are concerned enough about the eternal destiny of your own soul, right now where you are, cast your vote with Jesus Christ by putting your complete faith in him as your Savior. The choice is yours. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Will you accept the office of a Christian? Will you serve the true and living God? The office is yours. If you will ask Jesus Christ to forgive your sins and you will put your complete trust in Him to save your soul. Take God at His word and claim His promise for your own salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you will accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please pray this prayer with all your heart. Dear God, be merciful to me a sinner. I am sorry for my sins and now trust the Lord Jesus Christ to save me. I now take Him as my Lord and Savior. I ask for eternal life that He paid for with His own blood. I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.